What if I told you that in America, 50% of the homeless population and 80% of prison inmates can be traced back to one source? No, it's not immigration. It's not Muslims. It's the foster care system. There are currently almost half a million kids living in foster care. We're basically turning these kids into criminals by not providing them with the resources that they need. I don't think anybody has that vision in their future. Like, hey, I think I'm going to be homeless. Troubles with the foster care system remain largely unheard. But that's going to change because everyone's heard of Ty Burrell. So I sat down with Ty to hear about his involvement with Kids in the Spotlight, the charity that teaches filmmaking to foster kids. So what is your connection uh, to this charity? I teach an acting class, and then I am honored to host the awards ceremony every year. Compared to everybody, I do very little. There are people uh, who are in the program day in and day out working with these kids to make sure that they feel, you know, really like they're being heard. And, right. Um, I just show up to be on television. Yeah, but I'm, I'm doing even less. <laughs> yeah. How do you relate to these kids? I got into this because my father was a social worker in the, fo in the foster care system. Most of these kids have been through stuff that I can't really imagine. I can relate on a very general note of I, I was very much a lost, um, lost person in my, in my te late teens and 20s. I got into Shakespeare. Right, which uh, is the name of crystal meth back in the day. <laughs> And I went deep. <laughs> <laughs> I was snorting Shakespeare off of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Kids in the Spotlight says, do you have a story you want to make a film out of? It can be dark, and sometimes they are. It's therapeutic, it's empowering. It can be that, or it can be ridiculous. But is it little cruel to teach them about the most competitive industry in the <laughs> yeah. world? Like, yeah. like just a little bit? I'm at a comedy yeah, clubs every day going, going you shouldn't do this, <laughs> yeah. man. Oh my God, you're so right. <laughs> To see the program in action, Ty invited me to attend one of the acting classes. We're gonna start with uh, just saying your first name in the mood you're feeling right now. Ty. 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 Jim? I learned two things in Ty's class. First, I'm a shit actor. Second, these kids are amazing and I wanted to get to know them better. What's your favorite thing to do outside of school? Well, I like anime, so I would like read or <laughs> watch anime. I really love reading and watching TV shows. Yeah, it's the same as me, except for the uh, reading. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not read? Oh, I hate reading. Although you should read, kids. It's very important. <laughs> These kids are friendly, funny, and they make me feel self-conscious that I can barely read, just like my writing staff. What is the one thing that you wish people understood better about kids who are in your situation? That we're not all bad kids. Like, we don't want your pity, we just want you to treat us the same. We're not aliens from a different yeah, planet. Just yeah. because we were brought up different, they think that I might just like pop off and go off on someone or something like that. That's not the case, it's just... I don't know. It's okay. After everything these sweet kids have been through, all they want is to stop being judged based on negative stereotypes. When my father was alive and when he was working in that field, most, if not all, caseworkers, their deepest hope is to, for these kids to feel loved and to try to give them self-esteem and to help them to feel um, just validated. A bunch of kids that I have met are now in college. And that is way ahead of the odds. Do you feel like it's as simple as if we just raised everyone's tax by 1%, could we fix it? That yeah. went to foster care. Went to care. foster care system. And then we yeah. would fix the homeless problem. And then a yeah. lot of the drug issues and yeah. the prison populations yeah. would drop. The ripple on effect would be substantial. Yes. If you are a person who is wanting to give money to try to make the world better, mm. your investment dollar can't go further than the foster care system. Right. Foster care is a complicated issue. And as the federal government cuts funding, the number of kids entering foster care keeps going up. Which means that programs like this are more important than ever. Plus, these kids, now that they know how to make movies, might be able to help me someday. Uh, so will any of you ever hire me on anything? Mm, the t-shirt. <laughs> There's got to be some part where it just goes podgy, pale Australian guy. If you're still around and popular. I'll yeah. still be around. Yeah. I, I may not be popular, but I'll be around. <laughs> <laughs>